Welcome to Dust Off the Bricks. We have the A-frame cabin here. Uh, ideas number 46, set number 21338 with 2,082 pieces. This thing is awesome. I might even say this is my favorite set. Let's look at the box. It's pretty awesome. So crazy box art. Just... pretty cool build and then even like the instruction manuals like look at that art on the instruction manuals hey, that is awesome I love it all right let's look at the minifigures here we go I'm I want to point something out so here's the four minifigures and their torsos if you look here that's this girl's hair, this girl's hair for this girl's shirt. And then over here, or no, over here, vice versa. That's this girl's hair, this girl's shirt. So obviously they, they swap clothing or it's a mistake. I don't know. But uh, so here's the four minifigures. Pretty awesome. I like this guy. One comes with a satchel, one comes with a backpack. Um, I love this guy's mustache. But they all have alternate faces, so let's take a closer look at those. Here's all their alternate faces. And it comes with this canoe, which I'm using to display the minifigures. And it comes with two, like, side bills. So these are dis able to be disconnected. They're only supposed to be held together, like, with a, a pin like this. The one with a, the Technic pin and then the friction pin on the other side. But I exchanged them out for friction pins, so they actually, like, stay in. They don't come out, but they are able to be removed. So here you have a little uh, cache of lumber. Um, just pretty cool, awesome tree. Oops. Um, you get that printed butterfly, which is one of the reasons I really wanted this set. I mean, it's an awesome build. And it comes also bluebird, but it's pretty cool. A little cache here. Then one of the best parts that everyone's probably already heard about. These are hammers. These are Thor's hammers, used as like. The foundation the blocks on the foundations that's pretty cool then you have squirrels some a bucket there some mushrooms another printed butterfly you also have another one over here but then you have this area which is like a stream the otter i don't know what these are supposed to be but if you do let me know um otter there in the little stream uh pretty cool trees they're kind of spacey but i guess they are fall so they probably lost a lot of their Lee's already, you get the red bird, but um, this is where I think the kayak's supposed to kind of hang out. So, but yeah, pretty awesome little side build. And then this all studs facing outward. I love it. So they were able to connect all these on different types of uh, jumper plates and tiles and have them sticking out a little bit. You have a a birdhouse there. You have this little rocking chair here using Indiana Jones whips. So that's pretty cool. Then you have a little table here with a lantern, egg cooking. Um, really cool lantern. Oh yeah, I got a little chimney up top. Look at the side. So each side is exactly the same. Uh, but I love the way they did these windows. They're attached to studs up here and this is a little edge piece. Pretty awesome. Then back here, you got your little smokestack. Um, area to shower, a towel, a shovel. Maybe it's a place to go to the bathroom too. I don't know because I thought it was a towel. It could be toilet paper. And then a shovel to bury it maybe. And you have your hot water heater and your propane. And two windows. Pretty awesome. So these panels just lift up and come right off. They're not attached by studs whatsoever. And each side does that. Up here, so this I think is the treehouse idea set that is right up there. So that's pretty cool. All right, and then uh, yeah, you just got all sorts of things. I don't, I think it's weird that there's stuff on the outside of the studs. I guess it kind of works because this is the outside, this is just maybe the framework. But you have a typewriter there, a newspaper, a little file cabinet, a lamp, a teapot, and a uh, teacup, um, a little light there, 
don't know what all these things are supposed to be but you have milk there they used this is another gpu or uh npu is that's a little revolver used as the sink element so that's pretty cool and then uh let's get some light in here and check out the other side Okay, so you can kind of see the other side now. So you have a little lumber cache right there. You have a potbelly stove right here. Kind of hard to see. Potbelly stove. I think that's maybe a fire extinguisher and a knife sitting up there. You have a little... Uh, here, let's just... You have a guitar hanging on the wall. Let's look from the other side. So I took the other side off. And uh, you have two couches. You have a bunch of minerals over here. A candle going over there. Don't know what that wand is supposed to be. Maybe another candle. It looks like a thermostat right there. Um, but underneath the stairs, you have a little things of wine and wine glasses, it looks like. You have a little record player here. Another rock piece there. And then a um, bunch of books or records. I think these are probably supposed to be records because that's a record, a printed record piece. So up here, you have a pretty nice bed with a little painting up here a camera, a compass, a, another teacup, um, binoculars, cup right there, a map, that's where the tree house is, a little book stand up here, a spider in the rafters, thought that was pretty clever, but all together, this A-frame cabin is just so much detail, like I could probably talk about it for a lot longer, but it's just crazy amount of detail in this thing. And then to put walls back on, they kind of just slide right on. Whoop, oh, almost dropped it. So they just kind of oh, slide right back on, just like that. Let's see if I can put the other one on one handed as well. Oh, and this one was supposed to be held together by those uh, other like Technic pins and friction pin combination, but uh, I switched that out again for friction pins. So, but. What an awesome set. I love it. Pretty sure it's my favorite uh, Lego set. Definitely my favorite Lego ideas. I mean, that tree house is pretty awesome. Um, but I think I have four of them now. Five of them. I don't know. But this one's by far my favorite idea set. Maybe even my favorite uh, Lego set altogether now. But thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.